The U.S. Department of Justice says Jesse Benton, John Tate, and Dimitri Kasari falsified records to make payments to Kent Sorensen. So we'd switched support from Michelle Bachman to the Ron Paul campaign. These new charges offer some answers to the three year battle of he said, she said. He had told me specifically that he was offered money, a great deal of money from the Ron Paul campaign, and that's why I was leaving. Well, I think it's unfortunate that they've resorted to these type of tactics. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, she, she wasn't going to win Iowa. Court documents show those payments were made between October 2011 and August 2014, totaling $73,000. The Department of Justice says the former staffers wrote off the payments as audiovisual expenses through a film production company and a second company controlled by Sorensen. They also allegedly exchanged several emails about the payments, including this one. When Tate questioned why they were still paying Sorensen, Kasari responded, This is the last payment to Kent Sorensen, the deal Jesse agreed to with Kent. Assistant U.S. Attorney General Leslie Caldwell released this statement following Wednesday's announcement. When political operatives make under the table payments to buy an elected official's political support, it undermines public confidence in our entire political system. And Benton and Tate are now heading up a super PAC in support of Rand Paul. And by the way, Sorensen pleaded guilty to his charges last year, but has not yet been sentenced. Live in studio, Kim St. Ange, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.